It's time. Hello, everyone. We are the, the Nobodies. Nobodies. What are we doing here today? Today we are celebrating 5,000 subscribers. We talked it over and we figured we'd give you a video of our top 10 song ending mosh riffs. Those moments at the end of your some of your favorite metal songs where the guys just try to kick each other's ass with guitars and drums and music and everything. Yes. This is our first top 10 video that we ever tried before, so... If you like it, let us know. If you like it, let us know. And, on that note... This video isn't ordered until the number one spot, so if you see something that's above another thing, don't worry about it, that's just out. They, it's mixable. Yes. But, we do have to say that no matter what is on this top ten, it's our top ten, and it's just facts. Yes, there's nothing you could say in the comments to dispute how correct we are. Yeah. But on that note, let's get right into this. I'm son. And I'm father. Number 10. Starting off the list, we have Nemophila's Raitai. Released in August of 2020. It's a short riff to end off the song, but it is in insanely quick and pretty damn heavy, too. Well, the entire band destroys that ending riff. When Mayu screams, Raitai, it's over. That's it. Number 10. <laughs> Number 9. Next, Seas on the Moon featuring Lena Scissorhands with the song The Regress. This song came out in May 2021, which makes it one of the very recent songs on our list. Yeah, in the last 50 seconds of the song, Seas on the Moon goes insane with deep guitar and Lena's accompanying growls. <laughs> which, a little singing after the storm to really mellow everything out. It works pretty damn well. Yes, we um, reacted to this song and we found it to be amazing, so we put it on the list. Number nine. <laughs> Number 8. Coming from the Beg to Differ album, Seven Dust Alpha. This song was released in 2007. Lejean Witherspoon screaming, Now go F yourself, is one of my all-time favorite endings in any song. I've been playing this song since I heard it in the mid-2000s. And the riff, especially for 2007's new metal, is absolutely iconic. Iconic. Yes. Let's do this. Number eight. Now go fuck yourself! Number seven. Next on the list, Down to Falls, New Me. This song was released in March of 2021. This band is probably the least known on the list, but they pack a punch harder than most top metal bands. And while the riff is short, it is unbelievably heavy. This yeah. band's going places. Yeah. They uh, literally fell into our you know emails. We listened to them not more than a month ago, and here they are on the top ten list. Number seven.
Number six. Our first entry from one of the big four bands, Slayer's Disciple. Slayer's known for their heavy ass breakdown riffs. Tom Arias screams about how he rejects this place and hates the race. Is chalkboard scratching and absolutely chilling. Yup, and you know what? Anyone who knows Slayer, the only way you could say it is Slayer! So let's do this. Number six. I reject Number five. Dex Cause Red Eye coming in at number five. This riff starts off with a very calm and but super chilling howling noise before going absolutely insane on the guitar. Yeah, no, this stiff this riff doesn't scare the living shit out of you, then you're not you. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> no. So let's get right into this. Yes. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, the most recent song on the list, number four, Ginger's Vortex. This riff is so heavy, it defines what heavy metal is about. It was so powerful in the music video, it created a giant ass sound monster. This sound monster was so freaking big, it had a motel sticking out of its back. So, number four. So Number three. Next on the list, Machine Head's Davidian, released back in 1994. This ending riff should be the staple for moshing in metal. Rob Flynn both sung and played guitar his way into insanity. So let's get right into it. Number three. <laughs> Number two. Right before our number one spot, Pantera's Domination. Dimebag Daryl is the riff master, and this song is proof of that. The song released in 1990, and at the end, it has an absolutely insane riff that goes for over a minute long. Almost no one outdoes it. It's heavy, then fast, then heavy. You know what? Not for nothing, but this riff is legendary, and everybody knows Pantera knows this riff. Number two. Number one. Metallica's One. This song released in 1988, making it the oldest song on the list. This is the most iconic song in all of metal. It took Metallica to the top of the business. It's the final song in Guitar Hero 3, a game that holds a very special place in my heart. It's over two straight minutes of jamming from the legendary Kirk Hammett and the rest of the band. This song 
is non-stop, punch to the face, balls to the wall, kick in the gut, decked in the nuts, curb stomp to the floor, pure, pure metal. metal.